angular wave number. The equation of the wave is given as y x comma t is equal to a sine k x minus omega t plus phi. If phi is equal to zero, this simply means that if the phase angle is equal to zero, then the displacement at time t equals to zero is given as y x comma zero is equal to a sine kx as we know that the periodicity of sine function is 2 pi so we can write sine kx is equal to sine kx plus 2 pi and if we take k outside common then we can write sine k inside the bracket x plus 2 and pi over k where n is an integer which is basically n is equal to 1 2 3 dash 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 and the reason why we are taking this n here because we want to write a standard conversion of a sine function. Now as you can see the displacement at point x which is sine kx and x plus 2 and pi over k which is this one right here and these two terms are equal so basically we can say that the displacement is same and if that is the case then we can write the least distance between points which is basically the wavelength lambda with the same displacement at any given instead of time is given as n is equal to 1. This simply means that lambda is equal to 2 pi over k and if we simplify further we can write k is equal to 2 pi over lambda and this is basically the wave number. So k is basically known as the angular wave number and the SI unit of angular wave number is radian per second and this is how we define the angular wave number.